Welcome back everybody to another episode of Santa Fe Fashion's YouTube channel. Today's really special. We have our youngest designer for Santa Fe Fashion Week, Aja. And you're also related to Armando, who's behind the camera. So tell us a little bit about your fashion and how you got into it. Um, well, my mom was a fashion designer um, previously. So I've always had sewing kind of around me growing up and fashion and sewing has always just been there. So I was introduced to it really young and then I, I fell in love with it, of course. Mm -hmm. And and then I got into corsetry, which and like more historical fashion, mm -hmm. which is kind of what I'm into now. So some of my designs are more like corsetry based. So a lot of people when they hear corsets, I mean your mind can kind of run wild when it comes to corsets, right? And I've had fashion designers that make uh, eat, you know evening wear or laundry or whatever, but they're really like over the top corsets and stuff like that. So can you tell us a little bit about the corsets and what we might see at the show? Um, the corsets that I'm going to be making are more kind of like day wear, not like super fancy, but can be worn just kind of around. Mm -hmm. But um, Very cool, yeah. very cool. So did Armando, did he inspire you as well? Because it seems like uh, creative people right in the family. <laughs> yeah, um, he also introduced me to like a lot of the fashion things going on because he was also really into it. And That's yeah. Cool. And you actually helped shoot at the, the last fashion show that was a fundraiser. So cool. So we have Trinity here, and you're going to help you know, measure her for a shoot that we're doing today. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. yeah. Right, fantastic. So let's uh, follow along. Cool. Thank you. So before we came on camera, Trinity, you said you went to El Dorado High School, my alma mater, just recently graduated. Congratulations. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm 18, just mm -hmm. graduated high school. Um, I plan on becoming a pediatric neurologist if the school goes well. Um, and Very yeah, nice. I just recently got into modeling. Very cool. Seventeen. Tell them about that and why it's so important. This one is specifically important for course tree, like the rest, which is like the basic best hip, best way to hips. Mm -hmm. But this one is so that I can know like how long to make it, so that it's not like too short or too long. Very cool. All right, well, we look forward to seeing the finished product. We, we start with it going under for how many grommets I've put in this one. And then I like to start with the left lace. So the right lace goes on top on all of them. And then I just cross it over. And then on the next one, I just put it under and then it just keeps going like that. So tell us how long you've been a fashion designer. Um, I've been, well, ever since I was little, I've been just like sketching and doodling and making like designs and sometimes like making actual clothes from those designs. So I don't know how long I've been actually making this stuff, but I've been doing it since I was young and this Santa Fe Fashion Week is the first time that I will be like officially fashion designing. Fantastic. Well, we're excited to have you in our show. And then here, now that I've gotten to the middle of the corset, I save these two grommets on either side and I'm not going to cross it over. I'm going to go over in a loop here so we can pull it later. I'm just going to do the crossing all the way down until I get to the bottom. Just 
Just getting some more extra lacing. And Trinity, how are you feeling so far? Pretty good. Fantastic. First time wearing a corset? Yep. And then here at the bottom, I just make the smallest knot I can. Is this really a two person job? I mean, how does it, do you really have to have someone helping you or is this something? Um, you can do it yourself, but you usually have to have like a mirror if you don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Or, but a lot of people tie their corsets themselves. Oh. And now that I have this one, I hide it underneath the others and then I can take oh, these wow. and it just pulls. Switch it up. It just pulls nicely. And tell me if it's too tight. And the reason we put it in the middle instead of tying it like a um, like a shoelace is it holds the corset better in a nicer shape, and it is less stress on the back. It prevents more back problems than if you were to tie it down here. And then it should have like bow ties and then I'll just fix the dress. For some corsets, modesty panels are worn, but those are usually for corsets that aren't having clothes worn under them or having like something else worn under them. So for some of my other corsets, I make modesty panels. So this is fashion, so yeah, more serious, more, yeah. Make sure, you, make sure you're showing off the corset. If you got any, yeah, you can do it too. If you got any, any like kind of twist, kind of do this, because these are your shots. So don't, don't, uh, don't hesitate. Make sure you're showing it off real good. up a little bit, do something different with that arm. And yeah, there you, there you go. You're gonna have both your arms all the way from the back like that. There you go, beautiful. Brings a little bit more to the light. Perfect. Okay. Let's hit the back.
Okay, I'll just stand right here for you. Now I'm going to put the light right here. Um, we want it to be real, real even. Fashion is not even. Yeah, it is getting all, it's getting all weird in the front. I should fix it for Let's get... You're here like this, I want you to go like that. Watch, watch me. You're here like this, and you just go like that. Keep your hips flat. Exactly. Good. Put you in the other dress. 